priests and they live their life apparently so much in a simple way but do they really they may be having no shirt only dhoti in the as a priest in the temple but what about the hours when they are not in the temple have you seen all those things it is not about reaction of god actually love aspect or even complaining aspect or disliking god it is not about how god will respond it is all about how our heart melts in the whole process that melting itself is a great response surrendering also do you think that when you surrender to god as lord krishna says sarve dharman parityajya mamekam saranam braja when we completely abide with sarnagati do you think god will also match that sarnagati he doesn't have to without his love we would not have been even existing so the question of responding from his side does not arise at all it is how we respond to his already given love to us how we melt our heart how we take sarnagati it is the act of sarnagati to the entire existence not only to god meaning total acceptance of whatsoever may happen in our life be grateful to god and say thank you my lord thank you for having created the circumstances most of us they crave for the happiness in the future nothing wrong with it if you had some level of happiness or joy or luxury in the past let us see if it was x we always seem to expect incremental x means sometime oh let it be 2x let it be 3x let it be 10x but the wiser people have always reflected on the past what has made them if you really want to transform your life for good see how you have changed in the past what circumstances were there that prompted you to change your life your look out on life and what you became out of those circumstances that does not mean that we should pray for miseries and troubles because they are the only thing that really makes us but whatsoever come our way take it and see how you thrive and how you mutate and how you transform your life around those circumstances without fighting fighting against a circumstance is never going to help us in fact if we fight we'll keep fighting and not learn anything out of that circumstance observe see what happens as a result of these new circumstances which may not be so palatable all these questions of transformation and god's response are around only this if i love how much love will i return get in return from god we are always transacting we donate 10 rupees or 10000 rupees or 10 crores and we expect much greater this transaction must be avoided because it only shows your greed and nothing else in temples also <clears throat> why do we throw money we don't even give respectfully we throw money in the temples do you think god needs your temp- money that murti needs your money what will nirjeeva murti can do with that money or your ornaments or gold nothing whatsoever but the very act of sharing all that 
money as well as your ornaments do you think god will receive in the heavens or wherever he is if he has a form he will use it it doesn't have a form who uses all the money that you give and ornaments you throw in temples think over it it goes to the trust trustees and you don't even know who they are and how they are spending priests and they live their life apparently so much in a simple way but do they really they may be having no shirt only dhoti in the as a priest in the temple but what about the hours when they are not in the temple have you seen all those things so let's not have any transaction with our worshipable gods and goddesses best is to adore revere and make that divine life instead of moving towards such places make your life divine make your shariram your body as a tirtham for god then you don't have to run from one tirtha to another tirtha because you are yourself a noble tirtha try to create that within and heartfulness practices are all geared towards purifying our entire system so that god can make a permanent abode in our heart thank you mm-hmm.